Lady Estrada Incapié and Silvia Mazorico may look like the picture of carefree youth, but their early childhoods were marred by suffering. Yo tenía... I was four years old and he wanted to know my body. He wouldn't let me take a bath in peace. Lady says she grew up being abused by a family friend until finally being taken to a home for girls when she was 10 years old. There she met Silvia. Now an aspiring photographer, Sylvia had come to the orphanage when she was 11. Case workers say she was brought there by a woman who found Sylvia living in a garbage bag underneath an overpass. Part of the problem is that it's virtually impossible to identify victims of modern slavery just by looking at them on the street. According to the 2016 Global Slavery Index, Colombia has the highest percentage of people living as slaves in all of South America. Many of these victims are children. We know girls that have been trafficked from birth, so much so that when they arrive at one of our programs, they don't even speak a language. They only know how to scream and scratch because they've been abused from birth. Delia Stein works with the Orphan Starfish Foundation, an organization that provides scholarships and job training to more than 10,000 children across much of Latin America and other parts of the world. She says no matter what country you travel to, the stories of abuse these girls tell can stop your heart. They've come from abuse, they've come from prostitution. We know girls who have been trafficked who walk up to any man and just take off their pants because they don't know the value of their lives. They think that they are things. They don't understand that they're human beings. Despite its high number of reported victims, Colombia also gets high marks for its response. When we talk about human trafficking, we're talking about slavery. The U.S. State Department in its annual report on human trafficking lists Colombia as a tier one country, meaning its government meets the minimum standards for the elimination of trafficking. The report cites Colombia's efforts to investigate and prosecute trafficking cases, recently appointing 14 new prosecutors to handle the caseload. For Sylvia, the abuse started when she was a young girl, forced to work in the mines and later prostitution, all to pay for a relative's drug addiction. I was 11 years old when he told us we were not going back to school anymore, that we need to work because we didn't have enough money for food. But in reality, we were working to pay for his addiction. Now in college, both young women are focused on building their new lives. Do you feel that you will ever be able to recover from this? Yes, when I help more children so that they don't have to live with what I went through. I don't want this to keep happening, the abuse and mistreatment. It's very important for me now to help other girls because this is something that's truly close to my heart. Reframing the future, not just for themselves, but for all girls in their home country. Rafael Romo, CNN. Medellín, Colombia.